Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Tuesday, June 11, 2024. 43 degrees at 7.14 a.m. and I am your host, Fah Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I am powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray we can live from our hearts a life based on faith and not fear. I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star Michael. And Sully just went off on an adventure and Maxie went inside to have some different food. He doesn't, he doesn't like the dental food that is over there. It's a larger kibble. Oh, Mikey's on the move now. Looks like he might be going to get a bite. Coffee's brewing. Oh boy. I don't know if you've ever seen a movie called This Boy's Life, but here's a line from it. Good morning, you lucky people. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it got cold last night and I did not want to come out here this morning and the truth be known, I'd like to be up in bed. Elsie was laying next to me and burn up a storm and that's a good place to be. Oh yeah, to the eight billion of you who don't tune in on a regular basis and to any of you that do, we mowed the lawn yesterday. Oh, kept track of the mileage on Strava, 2.37 miles. Oh yeah, and then we took the clippings to the DPW and went out and did some shooting at Devil's Lake. I had fun, but I sucked. But I might go there again today. I need to start practicing on a regular basis again. Having been out of shooting for 30 years and then just getting it back into it last year. I got a lot of work to do. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Oh, the coffee is brewing. I think we're going to go pick up a new carafe tomorrow when we go to Meyer. It's Sushi Wednesday at Meyer on Wednesdays. I used to go and get sushi on a regular basis, but I think I've only gotten it once in the last few months. I've got some other things to pick up there. So maybe we'll get a new carafe and maybe we won't. Coffee still tastes the same anyway. Because we're not using a paper filter, which filters out not only the fine sediments, but the oils that give coffee its delicious flavor. At least that's my take on things. What are you thinking, Mikey? Oh boy, I didn't sleep so good. Well, I slept all right. I just don't feel rested, but that's nothing new. I haven't mentioned that in a long time. It's just my norm. Oh, yeah, the spirea still got some blooms clinging to it. I went and saw Bernice last night at Turning Brook, too, now that I think about it. Scattered all over the place as usual. But as I like to say, if you're expecting slick production values, scripted speech, transitions, music, and all that kind of slick production values, you're going to let yourself down every time. Yeah. So anyway, that's probably the second or third time I've said that. Oh, Bobby, you good boy. Oh, I did leave one spot around Chiefy's tree for a jungle, and maybe we'll show you that later, and your life will be complete. 
Uh, I gotta take a break. Maybe get a little bit awake. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that, and I didn't mean it when I said good morning. Still sitting here with that Michael. And we're loving this wool blanket that we've got wrapped on us and that he's sitting on. Sully's back from his adventure. Finishing up that second or third breakfast. Oh, where do we begin today? We got an errand to do. We've got to be out in Asanik between 9 and 11 today. And Asanik's a little burg about 12 miles south of Alpena. I haven't been there in a while. I haven't even, I think I only biked out there once last year. It's a nice round trip of about 26 miles by bike, but there's another route I can take up Nicholson Hill Road back to Spruce Road, back to Worth Road, that's about 40 miles that I like doing on my road bike. In fact, I think that was the only time I rode it last year. So anyway, if we get ambitious, we might start trimming off some of the lower branches like on that. Now we're going to wait on this one. We're going to wait till after it blooms. But we got some little ones to trim off that maple and that dogwood over there. We got some yard work that's on the agenda for today. Might go around and trim too. But who knows? It's nice just sitting here right now and just enjoying the company of this little man right here. And a good cup of Tanzanian peaberry coffee. What you doing, Sully? Huh? Oh yeah. This is pretty dull, I know. We got some big excitement here. Mikey got up. Did a Mikey stretch. Oh yeah, so we're just about done with our morning meditation readings. And the tricky part's always applying them to my life. <laughs> uh, randomly bouncing back to yesterday. I, went, I did go visit Bernice, as I mentioned, and I took her some uh, locally made maple syrup. She was really happy to get that. They have pancakes every Monday at the home she's at. I guess it's a, they call it assisted living, and there's a couple levels of it. There's one area where they need a lot of care, and there's another area where they just come give them their pills and things like that. She's in that one, fortunately. But she was really happy to get that syrup. You know, I try to do little things like that for her. And when I was leaving, her son Paul was there, so we had a nice chat and caught up. But anyway, like I mentioned, we're just about through with our readings today. Look at that, Mikey. Look at that sweet boy. And uh, I was just scrolling through YouTube, looking at some content on there, and just randomly. If you ever need a good laugh, and if you're a people watcher, check out this guy named Joey B. Toons. It's uh, all one word, J-O-E-Y-B-T-O-O-N-Z. He's got some interesting comment commentary on humanity. And uh, then there was something with Justin Trudeau on there, and I don't know, whenever I see a picture of that man, I just think that's the most punchable face I've ever seen in my life. Because if you think we're being screwed here in this country, you should see what they're doing in Canada. It's unbelievable. Definitely emperor's new clothes kind of things. Same with what's going on here with the smoke and mirrors. But anyway, let's go take a wander around. Where are you going, Mikey? You be careful. You gonna go on your adventure? Ugh, so he's sitting in the sun. He's the only one that's got any sense. I think that's why Mackie doesn't want to be out here. What are you thinking, Sully? Huh, bud? You all right? They all like that spot. That was, I think, the last picture I got of Uncle Rascal. He was in that spot. And that was on an October morning back in 2011. But I left a little jungle area around that tree. Chiefy's tree. Chiefy's actually buried right where that light is. Oh. Right where that, that's where Chiefy is. And Mama Margie's right there. And 
rascal is right here. Now we get them all cremated. Oh boy. It is a beautiful morning. Look at that dewy grass. It's cold on the feet. We'll probably be digging some of these lilacs up and take them to out to my niece's house. There are that wajelas in full, full bloom. Oh, yeah. My favorites have just about had it. There's still some hanging in there. Not a whole lot of scent left there. Let's go see how the dogwood is. Ugh. Oh, that one's still smelling sweet. Oh, Lordy. There's that Sullivan. There's that Sullivan. What are you doing, Bubby? All right. What do you think, babe? How are you, honey? Let's go see what Mackie's doing. Come on, Sully. Oh, yeah. Might as well take this back in while we go. Oh, the farm operation is doing good. Still no apples on that apple tree. I don't know what's going on with that. Mecky, where are you? Well, he must have went upstairs with the princess. Or is he underneath his bench? There he is. He's laying on his keyboard. That cold weather bothering your Arthur today, Max? We got to get him some glucosamine. Oh, yeah. So anyway, more bouncing around to yesterday. We did, after we got home, we cleaned the Kimber. Oh, boy. We're going to take another break. We'll probably close after that. Look who decided to join us. There's that Mackie. Oh, Max. Can you come sit with me, honey? Oh, yeah. So we're starting to wake up a little bit. And, yeah, that's my Max. Come on, Bob. What a good boy you are. What a good boy. Yeah, you are. Uh, yeah, we're waking up and the real excitement's going to start pretty soon. We're going to shave and put our partial plates in. Wash some dishes, do some stretching, have some breakfast and get on get on with our day. It should be fun. I think we're expecting a high of around 65. Still pretty cool for the time of the year, but you never know what you're going to get up here. For all I know, it could snow this week. Well, look who just got back from his adventure. Did you have a good adventure, little man? You gonna jump up in your chair? There he is. All right, well, everyone's home. Elsie's upstairs. Sully's here. And, uh, yeah, I think we're about ready to close. We probably should have closed about 15 minutes ago. So, one more thing before we go. Let's go, Brandon from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody burden, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, convoluted, confused, grieving, happy, and grateful soul. Piss off. Happy, terrific Tuesday. And thanks for not tuning in.